Cyber Countdown's number two story tonight's worst persons in the world, the bronze, the Wall Street Journal, and writer Jonathan Weissman, with a little historical revisionism that may have backfired. President Barack Obama's chief economist on Friday defended White House economic policies against criticism that they amounted to a kind of backdoor socialism, he wrote. While Mr. Summers' speech was billed as a prelude to next week's efforts on financial market regulation, most of it was devoted to defending the administration's aggressive economic policies. Those policies have seen the government take control of mortgage giants Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac and ensure American International Group, Inc. See how the journal just slipped its readers the old rubber peach? Talk about a speech by Larry Summers, Larry Summers of the Obama administration, the Obama administration, the government, the government which is taking control of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac and AIG Insurance. Except the Obama administration didn't take control of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac and AIG Insurance. The Bush administration did. All of that was last fall. So the journal is saying taking over Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac and AIG was backdoor socialism. Didn't the journal just call President Bush a backdoor socialist? The silver to Jonah Goldberg of the National Review, defending the far right despite its enabling of such terrorists as Scott Roeder and James Van Brunn, writing that perhaps the left is responsible for Van Brunn because, quote, after all, for years, mainstream liberalism and other outposts of paranoid Bush hatred have portrayed neoconservatives, usually code for conservative Jews and other supporters of Israel, as an alien pernicious cabal. I have been hearing and using the term neoconservative for nearly a decade now. This is the first time I have ever heard it associated with any religious or ethnic group. The thought never occurred to me until Mr. Goldberg raised it, nor did the religions of any of the people described by the term. Neocons, whatever their faith, are not judged by that nor referred to by it. Neocon may indeed be code, but for belligerence, pig-headedness, stupidity, wasteful, indifference to human life, and especially as Mr. Goldberg's qualifications with the title, paranoid. And tonight's worst, the City Council of Brooksville, Florida. Over the objection of the mayor, the four council members have approved a dress and appearance policy for city employees. They now cannot display body piercings except in the ear. All cuts or wounds must be covered. Halter tops and spandex are no longer permitted. Skirts worn below the waistline to expose the abdomen or back are prohibited. And best of all, underwear must be worn. The mayor asks, how are we going to enforce that? Well, you can do what Woody Allen did and had his crazy dictator of San Marcos do in the movie Bananas. All citizens will be required to change their underwear every half hour. Underwear will now be worn on the outside, so we can check. The City Council of, uh, Council of Brooksville, Florida, also known as the Underwear Checkers, today's worst persons in the world. Yeah.